What is native script? Okay, it's not gonna be that kind of video, but there is a question in the air. I feel it, it's hanging around us everywhere. People are asking and wondering, what is the difference between native script core and native script the CLI and native script runtime? It might be confusing. What are all these different native script ecosystem things? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down. Hey everybody, this is Alex, welcome back. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna learn more about NativeScript, you'll find links in the description below. All right, let's start with the CLI. What is the CLI? The NativeScript CLI is the tool you use, the command line interface. It's the command line tool that you use to run, create, build, and debug your application. It's basically just a command line utility nothing magical about it. When you type in TNS or native script or NS on the command line, that's the CLI tool that you're invoking. Okay, that's a simple one. Let's move on to core. What is core? Well, you hear me referring to core a lot. I refer to core as the architecture pattern where you keep your libraries. Eh, never mind. Core when it refers to native script core, it's a JavaScript library. So TNS core modules is what it used to be called in native script six. Now it's at native script slash core. And if you haven't seen my video in converting the old imports from TNS core modules to the new imports in native script seven using at native script slash core, check out that video. I'll link to it down below as well. Native script core is a set of JavaScript modules. That's really all it is. It's a JavaScript library that lets you access the underlying device APIs. Whether you're on iOS or Android, NativeScript core modules or the core, it's going to flatten out all those differences in Android and iOS for you and expose them in JavaScript equally. And this will allow you to access things on the device, things like the accelerometer, things like the geolocation, and to build screens, to build UI elements like buttons, layouts, labels, and so on. One more. All right, ready? This is the native script runtime. This is the confusing one, I think, for a lot of people. What is the runtime and what does it mean? There's the engine that communicates with the native device. On iOS, there is the at native script slash iOS engine. And on Android, there's the at native script slash Android engine. And this is the part that actually runs your app on the device. This is the engine behind everything. You never have to use the runtime directly. So for those of you that are developing using native script, you don't have to worry about this. This thing gets installed for you by the CLI and it also is transparent to you. But I figured I'd mention it here because people have been asking, what is this runtime thing? It's kind of like when you're developing a web application and you're using the JavaScript runtime, the JavaScript engine that runs in the browser, in Chrome, for example, you never have to worry about what the JavaScript engine is doing. You just write your JavaScript code and let the engine take care of it for you. Now, I did want to show you one more thing, and this is the latest compatibility chart that was published to the NativeScript blogs. Why do I want to show this to you? Well, there's also the difference between NativeScript 6 and NativeScript 7 that we need to address here. So let's take a quick look. All right, if you're using NativeScript 6 CLI, that means you're gonna be targeting Xcode 11. So if you've got an older version of Xcode installed, you're gonna to wanna to use NativeScript 6 CLI. If you've already upgraded to Xcode 12, you have to use NativeScript CLI version 7. All right, moving on. Native script app chart. The native script 6 CLI is going to use the core modules from native script 6.5 and is going to use the TNS iOS runtime, the older one. Native script 6 CLI is not capable of doing anything with the latest native script runtime. So the native script 7 CLI is going to be capable of grabbing the core libraries, the JavaScript libraries that are latest and using the latest runtime. It also is backwards compatible to use the older versions of the runtime and the older versions of the libraries. So if you haven't seen that post yet, go check it out. It's a good place for you to reference in case you ever forget this information. Also this video, hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.